Okay. We're taking a break, break, where you stop when you smell your brakes. Okay, we are in desert land. So the thing about desert land is that it has been decomposing. It has been the bottom of oceans. It has been the top of mountains. And it can have anything in it, anything in it. We're in the, the old land. The old land now. I swear I hear old windmill squeaking. slowing down. We are at Mono County Line. We are at Topaz Lake. Okay, we are at Topaz Lake. The girls are kicking back in the shade. It is what, 75 degrees or something? Yeah. Which is really nice. And there's pelicans out here in the reeds. Beautiful. And the clouds have come in. I mean, we're literally uh, about two and a half to three hours north of Death Valley on the dry side of the Masira. So you see us in the shade, you see us with wind blowing, you see us with big clouds. Everybody said, you're crazy, don't go down there, you'll die in the heat. So, so far we are being blessed as very awesome. Huge pelicans. Big white pelicans there. And yeah, don't know if it's called topaz because of the color, which it is. Lots of boaters and swimmers, it looks like. Gas at that end of it. Or if there might possibly be rock. So we came to this spot, which is right where a big crack in the mountains washed out into the lake and made like a little peninsula. So these guys have been gracious enough to let us wander around and look at the rocks. And I have my spray bottle. That's what we're gonna do. Rock on the shores of uh this lake. And I am going to hide. There's where you park up there, 395. Topaz Lake at the south end of it right here Here Some California diamonds just a little pile just little Inky inky little that's about your average size of them and a couple of stickers two stickers And I'm going to go like that My set square rock over it and that will sit there until either one of you comes by here and finds it there you go good luck these clouds are mind-blowing we left for death valley everybody's saying to pray for us and stuff and don't go that way these guys were set on it oh look that crane or no that osprey is flying with a branch in its arms to go build a nest. Okay. That's really cool. The cows are in the water. They came over to say hi. But yeah, nice, cool weather. It's green, sparkle, evaporate looking crystal. After forgive me for not knowing the name of it. And 
all the little pockets and voids. See stripes of it. Very uh, layered material. Maybe schists. It's a weird looking one, huh? We are actually in zones where I don't know most of the plants, most of the rocks. You can identify the basics, but we are here to look and learn. Whoa. Wow. All right? So not only does it look kind of cool, but it, yeah, very crystalline looking stuff. Okay. I'm seeing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's uh, maybe like a horn fellow or something because it's growing in a circle like that, occurring with like a granitized rock. Correct me, please. I would never want to mislead anybody. I'm just guessing. We have schists. That's what I'm assuming these are very fine layers of slate, mud, uh, sedimentary rock that looks like it's been metamorphosized by heat and time and pressure and made into other things. I would predict that there's going to be some garnets occurring in this type of schist. There's probably even a garnet, garnet schist around here. And then because we are at the decomposing desert side base of a big granite basilith, which is just a big one of the, those are the, the biggest rocks that the center of the earth can barf up, and they act as like the backbones of our continent, and so that's what the Sierras are. And uh, these look to me like some big old feldspar, some pink feldspar crystals happening in here. That's pretty cool. So, that's here. Happy cows. We have happy cows here. You can tell. Really? Yeah. Wow, first sighting of a desert lizard. He's just kind of like walking alongside us. Or I think it might be a monk. Oh, wow. There's like a desert guana or something. I've never seen one of those in real life either. That is incredible. That's like a, um, American monitor is what it looks like. That's incredible. Wow, cool. That, congratulations on that. That is a really awesome find. I have not uh, 
I've never seen one of those. That totally looks like a normal one. Yeah, it was moving kind of different, kind of fat and slow. Yeah. Super fine low layers. Winding our way down south towards Mono Lake now. That's where we're gonna spend the evening. Following a beautiful river the whole way. We have come out of another 7,000 foot pass and uh, yeah, working our way down. Look at that, that is beautiful. as you get down to the county park here at Mono Lake and there's tufa, famous tufa stack sticking out that became exposed as the water level dropped. Looks like a beautiful park. This looks like an awesome place to get some food. The water level obviously we're in drought here so it's even lower than it's ever been. So years go on we can probably continuously say the lowest recorded levels ever but welcome to Mono Lake I'm gonna go ahead and walk on down the lake So in 1951 it was up to here, and uh, then there's pictures of these starting to be exposed, and now they're sticking out of water everywhere. Fifty-nine, eight years later. See here in the distance the hoodoo sticking out. I got your binoculars. Yeah, we can go to the other side too. It says it's like really spectacular. You can yeah, more yeah. than this. Because it's in the water and stuff, you know. But these are you see that they were underwater only? Yeah. Do you see that? It said that this is no outlet, so whatever fills up, it has to evaporate. So there's no, it's uh, only, it, it only um, dissipates by evaporating. 
evaporation or whatever. So in 1950, in 1950s, you would have been underwater now yeah. with these sticking up, isn't that? Yeah. That is just wild, man. That is beautiful. Beautiful. We call it just a betroidal of everything. Awesome, so they bounce from north to here to... Yeah, they, they have their babies here. That's crazy. It's they... toothless. This, you can walk down in it and walk all along it as opposed to a boardwalk. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. It's all around you. Oh, yeah, and the mud is like a...
flies on it. That's what the birds are. You see the black masses of flies? see the same sort of mineral process that would lay down all the layers and things like our travertines and any of our layer minerals. Just imagine that happening in a cavity or sometimes dripping from a ceiling if it's a stalagmite, you know, but uh, just layer after layer. So this is evaporating up and kind of crystallizing and then another layer and another layer and, and you get these I don't really want to move it because even though it's just a rock, it's getting coated now. And that could just stack up and stack up into its own creature. A lot of these are just rock cobbles that are glued together with it. We're kind of creeping on the pipers here. Are we gonna not? These guys are sorting stuff out. We just uh, we just ate some food here in Levining. They have the uh, mono cone, which is like our jolly cone in Middletown. It's a red and white burger joint. Anyhow, yeah, we're across from uh, the little uh, museum, and I just want to let you know we're heading on down the road. trying to be smart about it so anyhow not sure where this is in the video but it's dark now we're still by mono lake now we're headed out we're going to try and drive down to the top of death valley tonight so i'll see you somewhere